Yo, 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 what's going on Facebook world? Got a juicy one today. It came up in one of my men's teams in the, the MindFit gym. And it is a question that I know that a lot of people are being with. How do you be with that person? How do you be in relationship with that person if your values aren't aligned? Now, the very first thing we I need to ask is, why do you want that person in your life? So why do you want that relationship? Now, a beautiful mentor of mine, Jenny Zuma, he, he told me, and I really resonate with this, that to be in a relationship, whether it's your partner, whether it's with your mum, with your dad, whether it's with your mates, to be in a relationship with someone means that both individuals feel like they are winning. That both individuals feel like they're winning because of the relationship. Now, just take a mental note and have a look and look at your friendships. Look at your partner, look at your your boss, employees, look at all the people around you that, that you're in a relationship with. Do you feel like it is a win-win? Are you adding value to the relationship from their end? Do, would you think that they're gonna say that they're winning being in your relationship? It's a huge question to sit with. Now, if, you, if there's someone in your life, let's say a family member, and your values aren't aligned, you're biting head because you have different points of view, now, majority of people don't know how to set a healthy boundary. They don't know what their standards are. And so standards are, and this is gonna sound very, very blunt, but it's truth, that every single person, how they interact with you, how they speak to you, how they respond to you, how they be with you, how they treat you, is your fault. And I know that seems blunt, but it is your fault. I know that I hadn't been taught how to set healthy boundaries in my life. So I would, like laugh stuff off, I would people please stuff, just to keep the air and the grace. Because as a people pleaser, and I, as a, I say reform people pleaser, I used to avoid conflict. And by that, someone it would be toxic in a relationship, or I don't know the word toxic, but I wouldn't be in alignment with this, and it wasn't a win-win in this relationship. Now, rather than saying, hey man, this doesn't fly, this is the boundary, I would just put up with that. Now by putting up with that, it takes a lot of energy and it's exhausting. Now, if I was to let go of that relationship and that relationship went, that space and that energy that the relationship was creating or taking up allows more energetic real estate for me to bring in another relationship that is gonna be more nourishing for, me, for myself. It's gonna be more of a win-win. When we judge anything, anything on this planet, we judge it from our internal value systems. So our values are derived from our behaviors and then from those behaviors, we derive beliefs and then from those beliefs, we derive our values. Now our behaviors, they have like these three imprint stages, so from zero to seven, and then from seven to 12, and then from 12 to 27. And then in those stages, we have mentors and families and teachers and all these people that have then our external environment has then dictated our behaviors. So that's how we come with our values. Now, if you know consciously your values, that's what we're judging everything from. Why we think someone is, a, is because of our value system. That's why we think that. Now, if there's this relationship in your life and there's this resistance and, and you're judging that, you're judging from your own personal values. If you want to be seen and respected and heard and, and set boundaries in your relationships, are you able to respect other people's values without the judgment as well? Because sometimes, and a lot of people here, uh, when we're looking at that, that other relationship, we can start inquiring and when we start to maybe set healthy boundaries or inquire into why they feel a certain way, why they think a certain way, what we're actually doing is we can come across as righteous. And righteous as a way, we're judging it from the perception from our values. And so that that first thing is, question number one would be, why do you want that relationship? Number two, is this relationship a win-win? Number three, are you able to accept that person for who they are? Are you able to accept them for who they are? Because it's not our responsibility to change anyone. And it's not, it's literally none of our fucking business. And so if we're trying to change and mold that person to be more like us, like that, that relationship isn't gonna be there. You're gonna be a savior and it's gonna be a lot of, a lot of, lot of suffering on your end because you you have an expectation that's never gonna be met. Because only on that person, that that person's the only person that can change. So how do you be with that person? So 
To be with that person, you need to set up boundaries. You need to set up how you want to be treated. And so you need to know within yourself, so this is going inward first, you need to know within yourself what you desire from each relationship. Because each relationship is gonna be a little bit different because it might be a business relationship, a sexual relationship, a partnership for life. It may be friendships, it may be a relationship with your mum and dad. And so there may be different variables in all of those. So first, be really clear on what your non-negotiables are and your standards. And they come from your values of like, hey, this is where I want to be met. Now, when we set a boundary, we also need to set a consequence. Uh, and so that consequence, now, these, there's a, and so a lot of people get to this point, they draw the line in the sand, this is how I want to be treated, and this is what I expect from you in this relationship, um, and then this is the consequence. Now, they've drawn that line in the sand, but when that person in that relationship doesn't act accordingly to the agreements in that relationship, that person doesn't follow through in the consequence, because that consequence doesn't become a consequence anymore, it's now just a threat. Now. If those threats just keep getting unmet, that other person in the relationship knows that they can walk over you. That line in the sand, setting that healthy consequence. So you need to follow through with that consequence. Now the consequence has to also align with what the boundary is that you're setting. Now I'm gonna give an example because time is very important to me. Um, and it's very interesting because everyone in my vortex knows how important time is to me. Now the reason why time is so important to me is because I'm a man that um, is really looking to squeeze everything out of life. And the biggest moving part and why I do everything for is firstly for myself and my and my family. Everything I'm creating, everything I'm doing is all directly correlated for my family and then in turn humanity. If someone is late 10 minutes on a call for me, I could be spending that time with my family. So the way that I set up this boundary in relationships, so this has been with clients, this has been with my friends, with my mum, with my dad, with everyone in my life. People don't know what they don't know. There's gonna be this underlying frustration in this relationship because like say for instance for time, this person's always been late. It's late, 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 late. And there's frustration and projection back on them. But that is your fault. That is your responsibility because you actually haven't told them consciously why that upsets you. You haven't set that boundary. So the very first time it happens, and for me, it's just the first time it's like bang. Um, I do give a like, hey man, like especially with clients, like I do say, hey, you have to be on time, all that kind of stuff. If it gets crossed, like, hey man, just wanna let you know, you know how important time is to me. You're now 10 minutes late, and I tell them why time is so important to me. And then the consequence is like moving forward in this relationship, man. Um, if you're not going to be able to adhere to this and this, this value around time, I don't think this, this relationship is gonna work. So we're gonna actually cease this coaching right now. Uh, and, and so now, I, actually I'll just give you an, um, a piece of assertive communication tool. So it's when you, then I. So when you reschedule, when you rescheduled once and then twice, then I felt really disrespected, man. I felt like I wasn't important in this relationship. I didn't feel like I was winning. And so how can we come up with an agreement so that I feel like I'm winning this relationship and my time is valued? And so I would like to offer that space to you to allow them to talk first. And then after they speak, then you get to set your boundary. But so for me, moving forward is, I understand that there's gonna be unseen, unseen um, circumstances in life, but I wanna feel valued. And so if you say you're gonna be somewhere, that you actually are there with me and you're present. And so, when you then I how can we is amazing. I just want to also be really clear. Uh, there's a difference between saying why it's important to you and then also it has an energy of uh, it's empowering. Hey, this is why it's important to me. So you're allowing people to consciously know your thought patterns and why you tick. But then what I used to get caught in this trap and a lot of people do as well is when we set that boundary is then start justifying because, 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 because. And it comes from this place of, <gasps> scarcity and lack and we start to dilute the boundary so we're now no, no longer coming from a, a place of assertiveness we're actually coming from a place of people pleasing or nice guy um, and this for men and then that that isn't in our power because we don't need to justify to anyone but then when we set that boundary to allow people to to know why i think is very also important so there is a fine line and then you'll know that you'll catch that within yourself 
if you're feeling like you're having to justify and explain yourself and that you really want their buy-in, rather than say, hey man, this is why. It's like a statement rather than a justification. This is why it's important to me. Full stop, period. Why do you want that relationship? Number one, one or two, but know what your values are. Like deeply know what they are. The further I'm going into my values, they also have priority orders. So everyone has in between five to seven values and inside that they have a priority order. So I'll give you an example. Integrity is my second highest value. Love is number one. So with inside my integrity value is around time and being my word is I'm a man of my word, I'm a man of my honor, I live by my values and my vision. The inside of that, I also have an agreement with myself that if I ever slip, I recommit, I own, recommit and get back in the game and declare what that is. We may have, and, and women and men have different uh, parenting styles, so men will take a lot more risk than women in, in how they parent and allowing to, to push that edge. And that is our role, to push that edge. And so to, to make our children grow in that way, but there's a lot of love and nurture from, our, uh, from the women, not saying that men don't nurture, but we can see that there's different value systems and different parenting um, skills between women and men. Now, because those values are a little bit different, if one parent is parenting to the children and maybe having a really fucking hard time and triggered below the line and just parenting, the worst thing that we could do is try and correct that situation and instill your beliefs and values in front of your children to your partner. Because what it does is then it's changed that hierarchy. It's gone that children are now above your partner. So why do you want that relationship? What are your values? Inside those values, your, your priority orders, know your standards, and then have that decision of like, do you want that person in your life? What boundaries do you need to set up? And then this is like, this is the new, the new light. This is where I want to be met at. And so remember, people don't know what they don't know. And so many people don't have these uncomfortable conversations for fear of conflict, for fear of actually losing somebody. When you set boundaries, ensure that you are ready to let that relationship go because it may be something that that person can't adhere to. And so just remember that if you're in, you're, you are the center of your universe and you're the center of a tablecloth, say, and I always look at like this red and white tablecloth and you're the center of that tablecloth. So just grab that tablecloth and start to pull it up and you start to rise. So as you start to rise, as you start to grow, as you start to evolve, as you start to become more aware, so by more aware, you're more aware of your values and your emotions, your feelings, what you want in a relationship. So you're more aware you're gonna start setting these boundaries. So you start setting boundaries. So you just keep rising. And you keep coming up and up and up, rising in this relationship, in, in life. There's gonna be people in your life that are gonna fall off. So the bread, the bread roll, the butter, a couple of knives and forks, things in relationship are gonna fall off. They're not supposed to be there. That's why they're falling off. It's trimming the fat out of these, and, and they all of that relationships they, they served its purpose, purpose up until now. But what you require moving forward and to continually grow and evolve and change and become more aware and do the things that you want to do in your life and chase that vision is that there's people that are supposed to be with you going to continue to rise with you. So like there is so many different dynamics, so many different dynamics in these relationships, but we found a way to harmonize it all. We can talk about business, fatherhood, relationships, everything. We can talk about everything and everything because we've set up a way and set these boundaries within our chats and everything. It's like we have a chat only for business. We have a chat for anything personal. We have a chat for this. So we keep all of our moving parts separate because we value each other. And it's a win, 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 win. The reason I share that is because I didn't know that this kind of relationship could work because I've seen and it, like money has ruined so many different relationships that different uh, religious beliefs or spiritual beliefs or faith has, has ruined relationships, that different views on relationships and all that kind of stuff has ruined relationships. And we found a dynamic where we can have all of it. And so like a lot of close mates aren't actually also in business together. And I think that I just want to share that it can happen because of, of this, I'm proving it, we are proving it, that is possible. Uh, so yeah guys, I'd love love to hear any questions that you have pertaining to this. 
um, and I've got to answer them through the comments or hit me up on a private message if you uh, want to talk a bit more personal and don't want to do it on social media. But yeah, this is like super important. It's really important. It's so relevant across everything I'm doing at the moment. And so hopefully it is relevant for you and hopefully this helped you out as well. Uh, so yeah, guys, have a beautiful Tuesday. Chat soon. Peace.